What is up guys, Marifarin Gaming here, bringing back some Kingdom Come Deliverance. Who here thought this LP was dead? Me personally, I did. But, you know, I just can't keep dropping stuff and starting new stuff. I gotta finish what I start. I would love to be that YouTuber, because I know some people actually like this game. And I'm not saying I don't, but it's a long game, I gotta finish it. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. We beat up that noble guy, didn't we? I hope he has. Watch it, boy. A few of my men have won fights against him before and never had a problem. But you could be the first. <laughs> Go to the rat house. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. Alrighty. I remember we beat up that noble guy, but there's a lot of stuff I don't remember. That's how you run. Punch. I remember how to draw my sword, and I remember how to access my inventory. I did level up before I started the recording, I probably should have showed you guys that. I just got a perk that you get tired 25% less. That's it. Like, you can go 25% longer without being tired, so. Oh, that would be good overall. Let me see where this guy is. Oh, he's just at the end of town. What I'd really like to do in this game is start to do my own free stuff. Maybe explore and whatnot, that'd be kind of fun. And I did like the main story of your guy gonna go ahead and get revenge and stuff, that'd be kind of cool. Oh, I'm so tired. Ooh. I still don't know if I want to be like a thief build or like a warrior build. Maybe I'll make like a mixture of both. What's going on in here? What you got, my man? My respects to you. He's got apple beets, all this food. Is there anything I want though? No, he doesn't. Nope. I'm good. I need to figure out how to raise my agility so I can use my weapon without any kind of penalty. I don't know how to fight at all though, so that's going to be real <laughs> interesting. They want me to go bust someone I haven't played for like a month. Oh wait, this is the bailiff here? That's a guard. He might be inside. I appreciate everyone who's checking out this LP. Oh no! I don't want to try to lockpick that. Thank you guys so much for always tuning in, but uh, I think MKX is going to kill it on the channel right now. MKX is so much more, I think, easily digestible. This is more like a story-driven kind of game, which I do like to take a break from fighting games and competitive games and kind of switch more to like a story. That's a traitor. I'm not, that's not the bailiff, though. Anything good? Actually, some cool clothes. Uh, I don't have any money though. I have like 42, 42 gold. Can't afford anything. This is like a thousand dollars. Holy crap! I could get that. That lovely yellow garment. I think I'm gonna pass though. Could get a hat. <laughs> There's so much stuff I can't afford, holy crap. I forgot how broke I am. Grey Hood. That's actually not bad at all. I might do that, though. Now I have even less money. Can we talk it down to... 39? Oh, okay. Haggling works both ways whether you want to buy cheap or sell dear. You select the amount you want to go with, with up or down, and confirm with X. The trader will then respond to your offer. If the answer is refusal, she will make a counter offer and wait for your response. So the last offer not accepted is that, the yellow one. The current offer, all, trader's last offer, original price, your money. Uh. <sighs> 
dragging out the haggling with one offer after another to gradually try the trader's patience. That makes sense. And eventually they'll drop the haggling completely. Yep. You can see how close they're to getting to that point from the trader's icon below. The more gold there is in the background, the closer the trader is to dropping. Okay. Every unsuccessful bout of haggling lowers your reputation with the trader. Okay. Well, let's see. 39. Oh, that would do it. Oh, ha. Huh. Look at us, a master of trade. I want that extra 50 cents. I don't know, I don't even know. I might be able to buy an apple <laughs> or something. Freaking heck. But this lowered a lot of my visibility and stuff, so that makes me a little bit sneakier. Which is kind of what I wanted to do, to be honest. Maybe I can be a good thief. Where's the bailiff at? Not him. It looks like he's in this building. I'm not sure how to access that. No, I don't want to enter that. Sir Rising was going to take training with his captain, Sir Bernard. He has the reputation of being gruff. Yeah, yeah, report to the bailiff. He should be right here. Or around here. In here? No, see, I don't want to start picking locks. This is the apothecary. That's good to know. Oh, is that him? That's a shop guard. What the heck? Oh! Maybe in here. No, it's like another shop. Armorsmith. Oh, wow. I have to come back there when I have money. What the heck, dude? Where have you been? Good day to you. Needed you. Join the bailiff's service about Ratte. Can you teach me to read? Oh, who can teach me to read? There's something going on here. Sure. Master Bailiff. Is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ujits. He could teach you. Okay, cool. I need to actually do that. So let's go ahead and join his service here. I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed? Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We have a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. Uh... Then you should look at... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna just insult this bailiff. Well, I'm not sure. I'm just a boy from a forest. Not anymore, lad. Now you're a part of Sir Radzig's retinue. That brings responsibilities. That is true. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? Sir Hans challenged me to hand-to-hand -hand combat. Captain does not like me. I never broke a sweat. It was quite an ordeal. Yeah. I have. And I have the bruises to prove it. The captain doesn't hold back. The harder the training, the easier the battle. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav, the watchman, Nightingale, they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. Oh, nice. He gave me 70 bucks. That's awesome. Is that him? Very sweet, Nightingale. Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? You report for duty dressed like that. I've got nothing better to do. You look more frightening with a pitchfork. Go and get kitted out first. Where do I go for that? They'll have something for you at the armory. Didn't the bailiff tell you? The armory's in a bastion of the city walls, the last tower before the upper gate on the right-hand side. You know, I thought when he said armory, I thought he meant the actual, like, 
armor store. So now I need to figure out where this freaking gatehouse is. <laughs> Jesus, look where you're going. Everyone's so toxic in this town. I didn't even do anything yet. Not that one. <laughs> Gosh. Uh. Yo, I can steal that axe. I'm thinking about it. Okay. I would love to use that as a weapon. Could I? What's it require? Seven strength? I'd break my arm trying to swing that. <laughs> Woodcutter's axe? That might actually be better. What about this? Oh, also seven strength. Ouch. I'll just try to sell him at another point. Told to pick up a kit here. Name. You said to talk to the guy. Oh. In fealty too. Sir Razzik Kobala. Hmm. Yes, I've got you. Well, come on in then. Make yourself at home, Henry. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. That's all. You want a kiss and a hug as well? I mean, it well, if you're offering. Oh, oh, okay. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. Sweet. Unless I found it, freaking heck. It took me forever. I do get I do get a club. Awesome. Got a helmet. Common. Some light padded armor. I don't really want to wear that though. I'll take the club. Okay, can we go back to this guy now? I really just want to start beating people up. That's all I ever want to do in this game. Just beat people up. <laughs> okay, can I just fast travel there? I'm so lazy. Kind of. Thanks. I... I... I messaged that guy like f three hours ago. In Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I don't good fight. Oh my goodness. What in the heck? Oh. That was... <laughs> it's... I, I don't know. I just thought... <laughs> I'm like in a whole different game and everything. Thanks. What the heck? Okay, where did I put myself? I'm near the church, I thought. Aha. Ugh. Uh. 
I thought you could climb over stuff, like vault stuff. Maybe not. Maybe that's a different game. Start running around trampling on every grave. I'm sure that's really good. Well, Nightingale's around here. I think he's right around this corner. There he is. What up? Let's do this. Kitted out. Ready to get going. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. All honor to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I, um, I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So how did you end up in the service? Ooh, nice. I always want to be useful. I wanted to enter the service of Saradzik, but he sent me here to learn. And learn you will. You're lucky, lad. Saradzik must like you. Most lords would have just sent you on your way. Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Don't forget, I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. Sweet. So hopefully, as soon as trouble happens, I can just take my club and just hit people right in the teeth. And then maybe this guy will stop me. <laughs> just go ballistic as soon as something happens. Let's do this. This is our church, St. Matthew's. That way you won't alert your quarry and you can enjoy a pleasant stroll. It certainly <laughs> the house of God, but that's the crypt of the Lords of Lipa, our masters. The gravedigger lives right round the corner. The priest, too. Our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. Oh. Can you imagine how awkward that is? You're just, like, rubbing up against him on an accident. Oh, they want me to go in there. He said we're going to all the taverns, and that was a barber shop. And the jailhouse. You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. This pillory was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. I know they said. Oh, I don't want to keep interrupting this guy, but they said executioners can't live with the town because, uh, like I said, they handle dead bodies and they kill people. What the hell is it's just, like, not proper. That's kind of interesting. I never knew that. If you won't go to the church, go back to your people. What's going on? What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks... My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. Give her right to beg there. How is she bothering you, master? That's kind of cool. Problem here? This is my shop. And I won't have beggars sitting on my doorstep. Let her go and squat in the square. She won't be in anyone's way there, and there's plenty of folk to beg from. That's, that's going to be tough. I'm going to call on his belief here. Can't you show us some Christian charity, Armour? What? Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms? 
even to this witch only yesterday. Is that true? Might be. Might not. Well, get out of here. The arms or not? Yes. From the armorer here? I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday. And my belly's empty again today. That's true. What would you know about it? Uh, we'll both contribute to the poor. I don't have much. Give Jane Alms armor. I, I would stick it up and say, like, you know, I would do it, like, with the guy, so. We're both good Christians, aren't we? We should each give something to the poor soul. And what then? Then Jane will be on her way. Immediately. King Solomon now, are you, lad? Fine. Fine, have it your way. God bless you, and and you too, citizen. I won't be a nuisance no more. Really, thank you, thank you. Jesus, you're as bad as each other. <laughs> okay, I'm happy with that one. God be with you, Benesh. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Help me. Good. Please. Where's Moimir anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Yes, he hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to, then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. But where is he? In the tavern. He was thirsty, so he went for a nail. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. Uh oh, this might be good, though. The guy's actually moving out. What the heck is this? Let's talk. You better put that weapon away. Hey, or what the fuck are you, are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? Uh. Move your car. <laughs> don't guard the gate. Uh, I... Got it not right a word. Here. Get moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff. Or God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out! Be a bit more careful. Come and sit with me. Let's have a drink. But we get to take a break. Jesus. <laughs> that fool got me all worked up. Me as well, the lazy bastard. My words exactly, and just when we need every pair of eyes. You never know when the Cumans might creep up on us. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? Should we be on patrol though? Uh okay. That was fun. <laughs> oh. Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and... What is it? Closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet's, but here in Rate we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind. The bell is hanging outside the Rat House. 
Ring three times, then go to the trader's tavern by the market square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Hey! Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. What the hell? This might have been the most boring quest I've ever done in this whole game. Can't fast travel. Okay. <sighs> there we go. So yeah, that was... <laughs> I had to like edit it out, but that was probably one of the most boring walks ever. The guy just stands around talking about when he was a kid and what happened in Scallops and like a little bit of like the banter between the lords, but like all that stuff is really irrelevant. I don't know why they even mentioned it in the game. Like why the walk took so long, it was taking like forever. I just really want to finish this quest before I do the next part, because... I do want to finish the game. Can't just keep it going forever, you know? Let's ring the bell three times and then make sure that the inn closes up, is what they said. Ah, uh, there's the bell. By the market square. Okay. And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olimus was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, and rode it out of the town gate. <laughs> no, 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 we can, we can see, we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good canon on his pig. <laughs> Did you find him? <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean... The beast with a tonsier on its head. <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the reverend was sound asleep in the pigsty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God save the bacon. <laughs> Sir Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to... Fires around! <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was you... I get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. He doesn't want anyone to stay. <sighs> the, the bailiff? The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Ratte. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, is he here? What, is he hiding under the table, maybe? <laughs> no, then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough! You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. Oh my god. Every time I talk to this guy, he gets into like, this horrible fight. 
<laughs> this is gonna suck. Yeah, I never understood this mechanic here. Oh god. Oh! Why are you beating up a nobleman, Henry? I know he's like a jerk or whatever, but like. Well, that's a kick. How do I block? Oh, dude, I hope I don't get like executed for beating up nobles. What in the name of Christ is happening here? <laughs> Hell? Answer me, damn you! This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog? That's a fine example of noble conduct. Sir Hannes, the bailiff ordered me Silence! to... Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans. How many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> you spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It will be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Ooh, hunting? Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Him? Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight! So I have oh, man. Not anymore. Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's go. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. So he tells me by the end of the game, Hans is gonna be like my best bro. <laughs> but like not now okay guys that's quite a long part so hopefully you guys enjoyed I'm gonna go ahead and try and do the uh, courting with Teresa in the next episode and then I'm gonna go back to the main story with Hans that's kind of interesting dynamic right there the game does take a little bit of time to warm up though so hopefully you guys aren't too bored hopefully you guys have enjoyed up to this point I'm waiting for it okay to make sure it's good Thank you guys very much for tuning in. I appreciate it, and have a good one.